Welcome to Spot Maths. I'm Miss Cook and I've written a story for you and done the illustrations myself. They're hiding inside these boxes. When I lift the lid, I think you'll be in for a little surprise. As we go, I'll stack the boxes up into this tall box tower so that you can follow along. Are you ready? As we go, see if you can spot maths in the story. Percy and the New Neighbours As the sun rose and Percy Possum curled up for his daytime sleep, a noisy fuss erupted on the ground below. He poked his drowsy head out to see a crowd of animals chattering excitedly. Their newly made holes, burrows and nests in the giant tree opposite his home were ready and they were moving in. New neighbours, he murmured. With a tiny claw, he counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But still there were more. I wonder what number comes next. He scratched his head and started again from one. By the time each animal was safe inside, Percy had counted to ten two times. He sighed. I wonder how many neighbours that makes. Closed his eyes. Are you awake? asked Miss Pie, tapping the end of his bed with her beak. Percy blinked. Do you have two tablespoons of berries? I'm making muffins for the new neighbours. Percy's eyes brightened. Muffins? How many muffins? he asked, wondering how he might disguise himself as a new neighbour. Twenty, she said. Aha, he nodded. That's two lots of ten. Yes. My recipe says one tablespoon makes ten muffins. So if there are two lots of ten, I need two tablespoons. Do you have any? Percy shook his head. None here. Oh, Miss Magpie clicked her beak and left. Percy closed his eyes, wondering if a pair of sunglasses would be a good disguise to eat twenty treats in when loud chatter on the branch outside interrupted his thoughts. There I was, trying to work out how many jam tarts to make for the new neighbours, said Moby Mouse to the three Kookaburra brothers. I counted ten, but there were more, so I counted on. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, but what number comes next, I asked myself. That's when Miss Pie told me. You never guess. Fourteen! Ha! That's so easy! Fourteen! But then, wait for it, she said fifteen came after that. Fifteen? What's fifteen? Fifteen more like it! <laughs> the Kookaburra brothers laughed. Hey, Percy! Moby shouted to his friend's tree trunk home. Any sugar for my jam tarts? Just because I'm a sugar glider doesn't mean I have any sugar, Percy shouted back. <laughs> the Kookaburra brothers laughed. Percy closed his eyes, giving each new number name its own delicious jam flavoured filling. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. He rolled the words around on his tongue. The new numbers were strange, but ever so tasty with imaginary jam. Box Cat's furry head cramming through his doorway interrupted his thoughts. Oh, uh, Percy, I need a cup of chop chips for the cookies I'm baking. I counted 15 new neighbours, but then I had to chase a bug. Do you know how many there are all together? As a matter of fact, I do, he said. There are 20. That's two tens. Of course, meowed Box. I didn't count 16, 17, 18, 19 or 20. Better make that two cups. No chop chips here, Percy answered. Meow. Box huffed and left. 
Percy licked invisible jam from his paws as he added the new numbers to his counting collection. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, ooh, 20. The new numbers sounded scrumptious. Now, where are my glasses? <laughs> It was almost time for the welcome party. Percy had been interrupted all morning by friends asking for this, asking for that, but he had given them nothing because no one said they were baking anything for him. But he, 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 he chortled. With my disguise, I will look exactly like a new neighbour. I can eat a whole feast of treats. With sunglasses perched on his nose, Percy put his paw to the door, then froze. He thought, if he was the only one without treats to share, what would the new neighbours think? That he was unfriendly? That he was selfish? <sighs> he sighed, pushed his glasses up and began tossing ingredients into a bowl, including 10 paws of flour, 11 mouldy berries, 12 grains of sugar, 13 nibbled choc chips, 14 splashes of water, 15 drips of honey, 16 stale cake crumbs, 17 pieces of dust, 18 shredded petals and gave 19 big stirs. Without enough time to bake, he added a glob of mud so it looked well cooked. Then slopped 20 blobs onto an old lid grabbed a crayon and scrawled a sign. Cookies made by Percy himself with no help from anyone. Percy was just in time to be first at the welcome party. He placed the sloppy cookies in front of the sign and lowered his sunglasses over his eyes. Hooray for the new neighbors, his friends behind him cheered. Percy swiveled to see them holding armloads of goodies under a banner. Welcome treats by Miss Pie, Box, Moby, the three Kookaburra brothers and Percy Possum. Percy whipped off his glasses. My name? Why did you add my name when I didn't help any of you? Well, of course we included you, said Miss Pie. It wasn't your fault you didn't have any ingredients, said Box. We wouldn't want our new neighbours to think badly of you, Percy, added Moby. <laughs> the Kookaburra brothers tried not to laugh. Percy's saucer eyes glistened. He kicked the sign so it squished the wet cookies flat, then tossed his glasses into the grass before joining his friends. Here are ten. Now there's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Percy counted proudly, placing the exact number of treats on a tray. Shall I hand these out for you? He asked. Thank you, Percy. You're such a help, said Miss Pie, smiling and popping an extra cookie into his mouth. Tomorrow, Percy thought as he munched happily, I'm going to learn all the numbers after 20. The end. But as you can see, I've got no more room in my box tower. So I'll have to put my seventh box on the top. So did you spot maths in that story? I'm sure you did. I hope it helped you learn to count those tricky numbers up to 20. Maybe join me next time in Spot Math Songs for more Spot Math stories or do some Spot Maths activities. Thanks again for joining me. I'm Miss Cook. Goodbye. I could have read some more. <laughs> Percy, you're so naughty. He's so rude. <laughs> Bye.